Welcome back to Idaho Voyager, everybody. Josie and I are in Hagerman, Idaho, my hometown. It's a working trip down here for a couple of days and uh, also taking Josie for a walk, getting around. Uh, this is a uh, city park in Hagerman, Idaho. And I got a pretty exciting update on some really cool new things going on in the Hagerman Valley that's coming up next. Okay, so I'm here in the beautiful city park in Hagerman, Idaho. And um, if you've watched our videos or a fan of this channel, you'll know that last year we did a couple of videos here in Hagerman, Idaho, my hometown. And uh, you can reference the video on the card in the right hand corner of your screen to get up to date. Last year, I mentioned that they were building a new visitor center for a state park here in Hagerman with some exciting stuff going on. And I've got a pretty cool update, some new stuff coming your way from Hagerman, Idaho. So the first big news is that the visitor center is open. As in, it was just dedicated on April 28th, 2022. This is a brand new facility for the Thousand Springs State Park and the Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument. Thousand Springs State Park is a public recreation and nature preservation area consisting of six units in the Hagerman Valley and surrounding area. One of which is Billingsley Creek, which surrounds the visitor center. More on that in a moment. Now, the $2.3 million, 3,400 square foot visitor center provides new opportunities for historical interpretation, improved recreational access, and economic vitality for the Hagerman Valley. The center consolidates access to the six units of Thousand Springs, which are Malad Gorge, Kelton Trail, Billingsley Creek, Ritter Island, Niagara Springs, and the Box Canyon Springs Nature Preserve. It also provides better access to the Hagerman fossil beds, bringing information and interpretation close to the archaeological site. Now, the Hagerman Fossil Beds National Monument is part of the National Park Service and is best known for Equus simplicidens, commonly known as the Hagerman Horse. Specimens from over 200 individual Hagerman horses were found, the largest single find of this species, and it is one of the first species of the genus Equus, which makes it an ancestor of modern day horses. Now, back to Billingsley Creek, and perhaps the most exciting news of all. As part of this project, a brand new RV park is being built as I speak. Okay, so we're here on site to give you a little orientation of where the new RV park is gonna be. Down there is the entry to the visitor center. There's the visitor center. So there's this uh, road that comes right up here, very wide, well suited for RVs. It's gonna bend around here and head back towards the RV park over there. Now you can see this is the Billingsley Creek State Park and right there is the creek. So that's kind of the crown jewel of this state park. Lots of great sportsman's activities, fishing, kayaking. In fact, last year we kayaked Billingsley Creek and had a really good time. Check out the card on the right hand side of the screen and uh, you can see a little bit more detail on our adventures. Let's take a closer look at the RV park. Okay, we're drawing a little closer. The uh, visitor center is getting a little bit further behind us. We're getting closer to this bend in the road here going down to the new RV park. You can see the construction again a little bit closer now. And what a view. And as an aside, that little embankment right there is our old dairy farm. So definitely nostalgic to get out here and see these beautiful views. Just a gorgeous part of the state of Idaho. Okay, so now this thing's starting to really come into focus. Really nice 
little low area here for this RV park. Beautiful views. We're gonna get closer still, uh, but you can see just a great spot. This is all part of Billingsley Creek State Park. Uh, the actual creek is right over there. Lots of fishing and kayaking and all, all kinds of other stuff. And then you can see the visitor center is back there. This brand new $5 million project will be called Billingsley Creek Campground and it'll have 50 spots all full hookup. This campground will be the crown jewel of the Thousand Springs State Park and will add much needed camping opportunities in this beautiful area. The campground is scheduled to open in fall of 2022. I will definitely keep you posted. Well, that'll do it for this latest edition of Idaho Voyager. If you find value and enjoy this type of content, by all means, subscribe today and make sure to nudge that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. That'll do it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on Idaho Voyager.